Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the week and weekend ahead, brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Now, the best of the flying weather looks to be during the early stages of this week. Um, there will be some showers around, most cloud towards the west, a bit of a messy situation early on, but it does look like it's flyable. But then things do turn considerably more unsettled from Thursday and through the weekend as the jet stream begins to take hold. So this is unsettled weather being caused by low pressure that's going to be uh, moving in. There will be some windows in there, difficult to spot them at the moment, but if you wanted to be able to do that yourself, then get yourself along to Aviation Weather School. I've got my first part one Aviation Weather School on the Saturday mornings of the 18th and 25th of September from 09.30 to 12.30 hours. Got a few places left on that course at the moment but as you know they do fill up pretty quickly so if you want to come along if you want to build your confidence in uh, flying weather to know that you know if you take off from somewhere you've planned the trip away you know that you can get back safely and you can trust the forecast and be able to spot those weather windows up to five days in advance then get yourself along to weather school now book your place weatherschool.co.uk that's what you'll see on the home page all you do is scroll down to this section here where it says aviation weather part one live online Book securely by card or PayPal. Click on that and you can book your place now. For more information, just click on Aviation, Aviation Weather School Part 1, live online course, and you'll get all the information you need there. It'll be great to see you there on those Saturday mornings of the 18th and 25th of September. OK, so this is how things shape up then through the course of Monday afternoon. One or two showers around for Northern England, for Wales, for South West England. Quite a bit of cloud as well, but for most areas, it looks as if it should be a VFRable afternoon thicker cloud getting into western parts of scotland bringing sorry western parts of ireland bringing some rain there leading to non-vfr conditions now for tuesday um a little bit of rain affecting perhaps southwest wales southwest england perhaps going to marginal conditions here maybe non-vfr out towards the west we're looking at bases probably of a thousand to two thousand feet tops of around ten thousand feet elsewhere looking generally flyable i think base is two to three thousand feet always a fair amount of cloud typical base that tops about eight to ten thousand feet bits and pieces of rain around particularly in the west eastern areas fading better just light winds it does look flyable if more local than further afield now for wednesday um again looking okay i'm going to say generally it's flyable but there will be some showers developing you see the trough line marked on here so some showers developing, particularly in the east during the course of the afternoon. Now, across western parts of Scotland, central and eastern Ireland, here we've got some outbreaks of rain and cloud brought about by the front that you see there. Generally, that leads to mostly non-VFR conditions here. Thousand foot base is not particularly great um, and reduced visibility as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, going in towards Thursday, low pressure, drifting in, big change in conditions, non-VFRable Ireland, much of western Scotland much of Wales, much of Western England, as the winds pick up, severe gale force winds possible across South West England. Eastern areas tending to be marginal to just about fearfarable. Bases here, probably around 3,000 feet, tops at about uh, 12,000 feet. Out towards the West, bases of 1,000 feet, tops 15,000 feet plus. So not looking particularly fab. For Friday, low pressure is still there, so still an unsettled day. Detail difficult on this one to pin down. We're updating all the time, as you know, across at weatherweb.net, the premium service there, which is effectively giving you daily videos very similar to this one. Um, go and have a look now. You can get a free three-day trial there at weatherweb.net. But basically looking like we're non-VFRable across many areas. I suppose we may sneak VFRable for a time in the east and south, but it does look pretty breezy. Does look pretty unsettled. Just keep your eye on that one because out of the blue, actually Friday may turn into a better day. And then Saturday, showers on Saturday, passing their way in from the northwest. Some of those showers are going to be heavy at times. More prolonged spells of rain across southern and southeastern areas. Non-VFRable here. Elsewhere, probably marginal, going non-VFRable in the showers. But otherwise, we've got some bright spells. And as I say, there is a possibility of some flying in between those showers. But I suspect... Western Scotland is mostly non verifiable because of the frequency of those showers. And then finally, for Sunday, rain passing through Ireland into western parts of the UK during the course of Sunday, bringing low cloud, bringing some outbreaks of rain, bringing some wind as well. 
Eastern areas and southern areas may well start the dry the day dry and fair and flyable as well. But that cloud and rain comes in later on in the day. But I have to say, lots of uncertainty on that forecast for Sunday. But you get the overall impression of things deteriorating as we go through the course of the week. You'll see this on the charts as well as we go during this week. And you'll be able to spot little windows in there on the charts of when you could go flying. To be able to do that, get yourself along to Aviation Weather School Part 1 on the Saturday mornings of the 18th and 25th of September, presented all entirely live online by me. And, um, yeah, it really is good fun. If you've not been yet, get yourself on that course. OK, I'll leave you with that for now, whatever you're doing. Thanks again for watching. Have a safe and an enjoyable flying week. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.